Hey, it's Judy Regini again, and I just did a video and shared it with you for the um, upcoming May Taste Bud subscription packet. And one of the things I told you was this sounded really good, Jamaican jerk. And so what we're gonna do is take their recipe and make it today. Now, this is part one video because what I'm doing, we're expecting a service person to come and do some work, so I can't really get started too much cooking. But what I am gonna do is take my chicken thighs, trim them up, then I'm gonna take the Jamaican jerk, put it in a baggie, and shake it really well so they're really coated well with it and then I'm gonna put it in the fridge and let it marinate until the service people complete the work they're coming to do. What I'll do is another short video showing this to you, uh, the next steps, as soon as we get to the next steps. So uh, look forward to getting back with you and then you can see how it looks in the end. But basically, and I'm gonna move my camera so you can see where I'm working, ignore my mess, ignore my hair. Okay, so basically, I'm just going to open the packet. We always buy it in bulk, so we end up with a lot. Now, these are resealable bags, so you don't have to use the whole thing. In fact, I'm only going to use about half of this. Uh, my goal is to not smother them in the seasoning, but to get the seasoning there. So... Just gonna open it up, add a little to the bag for now so that the ones going in in the bottom get it. And then I'm gonna just take these and put them in the bag. And I will trim them up a little bit, but not a whole lot because they don't seem to need a whole lot. The fat melts away when I cook anyway, so it's not as bad. Okay, so that's all four pieces of chicken. It's just the two of us, so we don't cook a lot of food. And now I'm gonna add just a little bit more of this to the baggie. Trying to make sure I get all of them, at least a little bit. Okay, so that's about half of that bag. So I'm gonna seal it, and that'll go back in my cabinet. And then before I seal this, I'm going to shake it up real good. So you see that the coating is getting on all of them. And I'll also make sure when I pull them out of the bag that they've all been sitting in it pretty well. But it looks like it's doing a pretty good job. You could even add a smidge of olive oil to this just to give it a little bit more coating for the to stick to. But it looks like it did a pretty good job. So uh, from here, it goes in the fridge to sit until we're ready to cook. Won't take that long to cook. These are small pieces of meat. And then we'll add some green vegetables and who knows what else. Here you're moving again. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll show you what it looks like when we get done. See you soon.